What is going on, aliens? We're heading to Cairo, Egypt. Gonna find a new pyramid. First off, Casablanca. Let's go. See you in eight hours, aliens. All right, aliens, we landed safe and sound in Morocco. We got a two hour layover and then we're on our way to Cairo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Off the Cairo, aliens. We made it, aliens. Oh my god. <laughs> they are so much bigger in person. Definitely aliens, babies. We have entered the pyramids. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> We're almost there. We're almost there. Bon bien. Hey, buddy. Thank you so much, Luda, for showing us an incredible time. If you're in Cairo, Egypt, this is your man. He's going to give you the best experience. Egyptian breakfast here, and we are so excited to dig in. We have to see Shogun. Yay! The food was absolutely delicious, aliens, and now we're actually going to check out the Sphinx. Wow. Okay, aliens, we made it to the Sphinx. It's so amazing. It's so beautiful. Pictures and videos don't do it justice. Not at all.
Hey aliens, so our next spot is Masjid Muhammad Ali. Okay. This is our next location. It's one of the biggest mosques here in Egypt. And I'm so excited to show you guys. It's so beautiful. So come on in. What is going on, aliens? We're gonna let Summer describe what we're about to do because we're not gonna be talking any English. Okay, so listen, we're going through the marketplace. It's called Ben and and basically, if they talk English, they're gonna handle them with prices. So I'm giving them the 411, don't talk English, let my husband be talking. It's a really beautiful place, so stay tuned. all right aliens we had an amazing day one in cairo we did a ton and now we're actually going to catch another flight let's go Okay, this is gorgeous. All right, aliens, so we made it to a resort in Luxor. I got a few more calls. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. What's up, team? How you doing? Hey. And I'm gonna finish off my client programming, and then we're just gonna be chilling the rest of the night because tomorrow morning we're getting picked up real early. We're actually gonna be checking out the sunrise in a hot air balloon all the way up in the sky. It's gonna be an absolute blast. We'll tune in then. Morning, aliens. So we're headed on the boat. We have some tea and some hors d'oeuvres like, set up for us to leave. Take shots out, you know, for you have anything here, especially with bone, your camera, sunglasses, and wine. update aliens looks like we're waiting on the airport to actually allow us to go up in the sky so unfortunately i think we've missed the sunrise at this point <gasps> come on government yes, 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 yes. let's go We had a blast at the hot air balloons this morning, aliens, and now we're gonna tour around Luxor. What are we checking out right now, Selena? We're checking out the Karnak temples. There's a statue in there that my brother swore was magic, so we have to go see it. Let's go into a trance. 
fertility God. Because Amun Ra, the sun God, got a fertility, got a feeling, got a power. And I was cut out. So he is first. Yes. Wait, wait. Yes, you face her? Aha! Now you like. It's almost like the face, the light, when he's in the light, the Christ. Secret. Bubble. Bubble? Yeah. Bubble. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Wow. The color is still in This is crazy. Oh my god. It's just it's unbelievable. unbelievable. The Karnak Temple was amazing. And now, aliens, we are going to be going through the Valley of the Kings. I mean, like this, this must have been the people at the Holy Antichrist. This is Horus. This is Horus, the new son of Amurra. This is the death. This is Ma'ik. Hey aliens, this is the Yisip the tomb. This is unreal. Yeah, my daughter, my son. 
Oh, it's a woman. Aliens, you don't know how hot it is to climb up those stairs, but we're going to do it. Our water, we're going to do it. Damn, it's closed, aliens. All that walking for nothing. <laughs> This is amazing. So they come down and they felt pain, so they would be sketching. So all of this is just sketch. Because the king died? Yeah, sitting on him. Wow. And you can see the sketch. Wow. incredible. <laughs> That's us. Oh my god. Look at look at them. That's a bull. Tying up the bull and giving it to them as a gift. <laughs> you see the legs? Yeah. Oh my god. Over here, like, giving them gifts and cleaning them. And look at the ritual of what the stars look like. 
It's kind of cool because I'm sure there used to be a lot more stars in the sky. A big cow. Look at this. It's like a portrait. This tomb is never ending. The reptilian? Yeah. It's a reptilian. That honestly can't be put into words because it was truly, absolutely incredible. It was like insane. You know, every time we'd go into a tomb, someone would show us a secret room and <laughs> someone would take us, you know, you'll see the photos, but we were literally laying on the tomb. <laughs> with each other and the and the guy was taking photos and videos of us and it was just so cool everything's a little secret and everything's a little tunnel and it's a lot of magic here man it's a lot of magic oh yeah if you come to egypt you have to check out the valley of kings this was definitely one of my favorite things we've done so far and just so we aliens know a little tactic they use they bring in these secret rooms and they're like don't tell anyone they're looking for a bigger tip i don't know if the videos do it justice but the colors are so bright and vibrant that it just looks like someone literally drew it a week ago. Like it's... Yeah. So it's, thankful of this opportunity being here. Yeah, if you ever get a chance, the Valley of the Kings, that's where you need to go if you get a chance to come to Egypt. Mm -hmm. It's worth every penny. And come in the off season. It's hot, but there's not a lot of people here. Yeah, <laughs> drip and sweat, worth every drip. <laughs> so now we're walking back to the bus. We're going to head to one more monument if we have time. Yeah, and we'll see. Four hour ride to Aswan now. Yeah, yeah, it's a four hour ride to Aswan if we if we don't make the monument. We have to get a hit a few checkpoints on the way. So that's where we're going to go and stay tuned for that because that's supposed to be amazing. Let's get it, aliens. Aliens, another amazing day in Egypt. We're in Aswan now. Yesterday we had such a great time in Luxor checking out the temples and the tombs and it was really, really cool. Aswan is actually the hub for the material that was used for all the temples and the tombs in Luxor. So that's just a really cool fact about a swan. We're actually now going to go into a remote little town and have lunch, check out more of the culture, and just do some more activities around a swan. Really excited for another great day in Egypt. This temple is really gorgeous. Definitely a must see when you're in a swan. All right, aliens. We started the day off at the Palais Temple. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> and now we're over to the Nubian village. We're going to grab some lunch, explore around here, and then we're actually going to be catching a flight back to Cairo in the next few hours. And then we're going to be actually taking a three hour drive over to the north coast, a really popular beach spot in Egypt. Let's get it. Of course I want ice cream. Do you know me? <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, he's moving? Yeah. 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 Okay. Congrats. I would love to. <laughs> Where is it going to be? In Bantin Island. Oh my god. <laughs> we met a group of guys like all dressed in white. So we asked, well, what are you guys doing? And he's with all his best men are going around the village and asking people to come to his wedding. So it was very sweet. Stroll through the Nubian village, aliens. Huh. A lot of cool stores in this village. Welcome. How do you do? Welcome from America. Everything you find here. Yeah. Uh, ask Nubian. This hand made Nubian village here. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, God, okay. wow. Keeping an eye is here. <laughs> Aliens, he made all of these by hand. Yeah. Unbelievable. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's going to be on YouTube. YouTube? Yes. yes. So this, to me, was my favorite spot in Egypt. Aswan had such an amazing energy. All the people were so nice, they were so sweet. We went in the water, we played with the kids. I didn't really dress to go in the water, but it was <laughs> so hot. I couldn't even deal with the heat, so I had to go in the water and wet my hair, and they were just all so sweet. They wanted to take photos of us. Even more specifically, the Nubian village. It yeah. was just an incredible energy here. Everyone was so inviting, and they made us feel really special being here. Yes. They made us feel really special. If you ever get a chance to go to Egypt, definitely go to the Nubian village. It was yep. phenomenal. Absolutely. Now, off to the airport, back to Cairo. And again, aliens, another amazing day in Egypt. We traveled from Cairo, four hour trip, 1 a.m. to 5 a.m. to the north coast. We made it safe and sound. Gonna grab some breakfast and then hit up the beach and really relax for the day. Then we're gonna enjoy some nightlife. Yeah, it's gonna be great. When my brother came here a couple years ago, he's like, oh, there's no nightlife, there's no nightlife in Egypt. But we came with some locals and they're gonna show us the nightlife. We're gonna have a good time. So this is a very traditional Egyptian meal. It's called fitir. It's homemade. It's like almost like a big croissant. And then you eat it with tahini and dark molasses, honey, and some feta cheese. This is that. Amazing. Oh my God, aliens, this water is crystal clear. Let's go. All right, aliens, we're about to go out, hit the North Coast up. We're going to a really exclusive bar tonight. It's gonna be amazing, let's go. Oof.
So we just finished watching the most beautiful show at this really exclusive place in the North Coast of Egypt. Unreal. They were the most beautiful dancers, the most amazing singers. They just put on this awesome show. And now we're at the Marina and we're going to grab a couple drinks with our friends, have a good time. And then tomorrow we're going to hit the beach and do it all over again. Club in tomorrow night. All right. Another day, another beach, aliens. All right, aliens, we had a great two days in the North Coast. We got to check out two different beaches and we saw a bunch of really cool performances. So tomorrow we're headed over to Alexandria bright and early. We're gonna sightsee around there before we go back to Cairo to take our flight to Portugal. And that would be the end and wrapping up Egypt. Wow, this week has gone by fast. Made it to Alexandria, aliens. First stop, the catacombs. So this is supposed to be Egyptian style art done by the Greeks and the Romans. So you can see it's much different than the tombs that we saw. The catacombs we have were considered the first catacombs. Much different than the tombs that we saw. Why? It's amazing. That's why, as. Do you want to? <laughs> Not too much. <laughs> Are you gonna do it, Mike? We can walk to the other side. <laughs> okay, let's do that because I don't want to crawl. Here's some drawings. You really should have taken some notes from the Egyptians. Just about 200 bodies were found in the Roman catacombs here in Alexandria. So it's very, very cool. It's a little eerie when you walk around. <laughs> wow. Next stop in Alexandria, we're checking out the Roman theater.
All right, aliens, so we're not actually gonna be going inside of the Citadel, so enjoy the outside to get a good glimpse of everything. We're a little bit on a rush now, we're heading back to Cairo to catch our flight to Portugal. This will be wrapping up our trip for Egypt. Selena, what we get? Nice. <laughs> Give me the ocean. Wow, aliens. Egypt has been absolutely incredible. It truly feels like a different world over here. It really was a very cool trip. Just to do a small recap, we started off in Cairo, hung out with a few friends there. We went to Luxor, then we visited a swan. We went to the Nubian village in a swan, which was honestly my favorite part. Swim in the Nile. Swim in the Nile. It was just too hot. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I had to take a dip <laughs> in the Nile. Then we went back to Cairo to head over to the North Coast, hung out on the North Coast. The North Coast was a blast. It kind of felt like Miami a little <laughs> bit. Uh, then we took a visit over to Alexandria, came back to Cairo, and now we're headed to Portugal tomorrow, which is going to be a totally different shift, a good change, and hopefully it's a little cooler out in Portugal. <laughs> it has to be. <laughs> weather-wise, weather-wise. Yeah. It's just been so hot in Egypt. If you do take a trip to Egypt and you go in August and you head over to Luxor and Swan, let me tell you, you are gonna feel heat like you've never felt before. It's you know, it's literally just, dripping sweat you're, all day. You're in the middle of the desert, but hey, we we we, we, we crushed it. We crushed it. We trooped it out, you know, and uh, pretty excited for for the change in uh, in Portugal. We've made some unbelievable memories, and we really hope you absolutely love this vlog. This whole vlog is going to be centered around Egypt, and then we're going to have another vlog for Portugal. So thank you for tuning in, and we appreciate your support, aliens. Let us know where you want us to go next, and we'll see you in that next video. Peace!